Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video and if you're new here, my name is Edward Smith and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be going through the five best doors for beginners in 2020. So first things first, the question is, what is a door? And for the beginners out there, it is the centerpiece of your home studio. It's where you record all your songs, it's where you put in all your instruments, all your virtual plugins and instruments like that as well. And it's really the centerpiece of everything that works. You don't need any of this equipment, but with a music production software, you can start making music today. If you are someone looking to buy a door, there are three things that you need to look out for before making your final decision. And these three things are trials and demos, availability of resources and pricing. Music production software and doors that offer you trial version and demos allow you to test out the product without actually having any risk of buying it and then later on not enjoying it. So this gives you an option of going through a couple of softwares and doors so that you can find the right one that really suits your workflow. Additional resources is another important thing to look out for if you are a beginner purchasing a door. And the reason it's so important is you need to know how your door works and in the beginning you really don't. And having additional tutorials and blogs that help you out is always of very very high value. And finally, the pricing of the door that you'll be purchasing really depends on the number of features you'll be able to have. So buying the best door you can possibly afford is essential. Now it's time to move on to the five best doors for beginners in 2020. The first door that we're going to be looking at that's great for beginners is FL Studio. Created by Belgian company ImageLine, FL Studio is a door that is commonly used in electronic music arguably number one in terms of popularity, coming with an array of synths and options for producers to play around with. FL Studio is killer when it comes to sequencing drums as well, thanks to the step sequencer in the channel rack. This means you don't have to mess around with piano roll MIDI just to lay down some simple drums. Upon opening up the door, you'll notice no shortage of features. This is because FL Studio has designed its software with customization and adaptability in mind. On the downside, most producers will find themselves only using a very small percentage of FL Studio's available features, simply because it's a bit overwhelming. But on the upside, FL Studio has been around a very long time, and when you purchase any version, you get free lifetime updates, which is pretty awesome. When looking at FL Studio's available resources, the options are never-ending. The FL Studio website has a lot of articles to assist their users, and simple YouTube tutorials from all types of producers are also right at the tip of your fingers. The next door that we're going to be looking at that's great for beginners is Ableton Live. Ableton Live is a door designed with both production and live performance in mind. Hence, it doesn't come with as many bloated features that some of the other doors do. Simplicity and workflow are all central to Ableton Live's design. These basics make it one of the best doors out there. Speed and efficiency is one major factor when it comes to Ableton Live. It's very easy to access instruments and effects in the same interface. You can work quickly and productively, ensuring that your main focus is on making music and not wasting time getting lost in the technical side of things. Ableton Live has also been around for a while and started out predominantly as a performance tool, but has well and truly become a fully functional door that makes traditional softwares look quite boring. In terms of available resources to help assist you along your production journey, there are some great high quality resources for Ableton Live out there. Starting at the home base, Ableton's website has some great content, including the blog and the One Thing series. The next door that we're going to be looking at that's great for beginners is Logic Pro X. Although it's a Mac only door, Logic Pro X has been the staple of many music producers, including 2020's producer of the year, Phineas O'Connell. Logic is a door focused on high quality sounds and laid out on a robust interface. It's designed with musicians in mind, keeping a very simple looking interface and preset heavy library. It's very easy to find great sounding instruments to go along with your recording. While you can certainly produce amazing music with Logic Pro, it caters for a broader audience, so some features might not be of any use to you in your specific genre. But in terms of available resources, Logic doesn't have as many in comparison to Ableton Live and FL Studio, and a lot of them are aimed at a traditional musician market rather than a production market. But that being said, YouTube has enough tutorials to help you get going. The next store that we're going to look at that's a great option for beginners is Cubase. Developed by German company Steinberg, Cubase has been around for a very long time and it isn't going anywhere anytime soon. 
When using Cubase, you'll find all the great features of a typical door, with some great MIDI editing tools and a great drum editing layout for beat makers. On the downside, Cubase relies on a dongle for activation and use, so make sure that's something you're okay with before taking the leap. Overall, Cubase is a door that's easy to use and straight to the point. When looking at available resources, Cubase is a little more limited than the other doors out there, and the best you'll get is a few basic blogs and a couple of YouTube tutorials. And the final door that we're going to be looking at that's great for beginners is PreSonus Studio One. PreSonus Studio One is one of the only doors that actually offers a decent option for free, called Studio One Prime. And unlike traditional demos and trials, you can actually export your audio and projects using this version. Studio One is a very simple and straightforward door, making the process of creating music super easy and enjoyable. Many PreSonus products include Studio One as well, which means if you are a beginner buying budget studio gear, you're probably going to end up working on Studio One. Similar to Cubase, Studio One is a little more limited in terms of resources than other doors out there. And again, the best you'll get are a few blogs and a couple of YouTube tutorials. So that's the end of this video on the five best doors for beginners in 2020. And if you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, subscribe down below and I will see you for another video next time.